Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo, and today is Thursday, May 28th, 2020. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. They say you should fear the man who walks softly but carries a big stick. And right here, right now, in this moment, it feels like Derek Lunsford is carrying the biggest stick in the 212 division. On Monday, someone released a short clip on Instagram of Derek running through a few of the mandatory poses after a morning cardio session that immediately started making serious headlines. This is the version of Derek that had so many people excited heading into last year's Olympia. And seeing him so focused this far out makes me think that he's applying some of the lessons he's learned during last year's prep. Derek is clearly one of the most talented athletes in the division. And if he nails it this year, I think it becomes a two-horse race between him and Kamal al heading into the finals. Here in the United States, they like to say that the mailman always delivers, no matter rain or shine. But after seeing what Brent Wilkins did earlier this week, I think the fine men and women of the U.S. Postal Service would have to admit that this guy is dedicated to his job. A few days ago, Brett released one of the craziest training clips you'll ever see, where he's literally outside in the pouring rain, knocking out a set of machine squats like an absolute lunatic. To be honest, when I first saw this clip, I wasn't sure if I should be excited or concerned. And even after watching it a few times, I'm still not sure where I stand. But all things considered, Brett's still on track to get his 2020 campaign off to a strong start. And if he ends up cracking the top three in his first contest, we know that he'll have a good story to tell in his post-show interview. Dallas Cowboy fans have been doing a lot of complaining lately about the ongoing saga surrounding Dak Prescott's new deal. So if you're a Cowboys fan and you're tired of staring at your phone waiting for Jerry Jones to make an announcement on Twitter, well, shifting your attention to Texas native Chris Hunt might be a welcome distraction. Rumor has it that the second-year Classic Physique Pro is starting to circle wagons for his 2020 debut, where he's looking to build on the groundwork that he laid during last year's rookie campaign. According to a source, Chris is somewhere in the neighborhood of seven weeks out from his next contest, and he believes that he's on track to have his best overall look to date. So if he finishes strong down the stretch, Another top 10 finish should easily be within striking distance. And finally, I want to close out today's show by wishing a melancholy happy trails to Josh Foster, who passed away at his home on May 21st at the age of 36. The news of Josh's untimely passing was first announced by pro wheelchair director Nick Scott, who put it, this is very hard to post. We lost an amazing person and an awesome pro wheelchair bodybuilder. I am shocked. I am at a loss for words. I will keep everyone updated. On behalf of everyone here at Muscle in the Morning, I would like to send my dearest and deepest condolences to Josh's family and his friends as they mourn his loss and celebrate his life. Rest in peace, my friend. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.